We're Grant and Teresa Boggs. You'd normally find us exploring our new hometown of Napa, California, but we also have the travel bug. So whether we're exploring our home state, going island hopping in the Philippines, or hiking glaciers in Iceland, we're always down for a new adventure. And in this mini-series, we're exploring a place I called home for a year, the UK. Join us as we explore England and Scotland by land, by sea, sort of, and by air. Along the way, we'll share our tips on how to make your UK vacation one you'll never forget. Let's do it. Welcome to London, England, one of my favorite cities in the world. And I'm not alone. More than 30 million people visit London each year. So when Grant and I planned our two-week trip to the UK, we knew there was no better place to kick off our trip than the UK's largest city and capital, London. London is one of those cities that's so easy to explore without a car. In fact, it's probably easier to explore it without a car. So in this episode, we'll show you five things you can see in London in one day, just by using the underground and by walking. Stop number one is Buckingham Palace, the official royal residence in London. For you Queen Charlotte or Bridgerton fans, this is Buckingham House. The closest underground station to the palace is St. James's Park. From there, it's a five or 10 minute walk to the palace gates. Tickets are 33 pounds for adults if you buy them on site. It goes down to about 30 pounds if you book in advance, which is highly recommended. Not only do tickets sell out pretty fast, but booking in advance will help you know whether Buckingham Palace is actually open for visitors on the day you're planning to be there. Hey guys, check out these barricades that they've set up for the coronation. It's either we're early or maybe a couple weeks too late. I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> Stop number two is Parliament Square. It's about a one mile or 15 minute walk from Buckingham Palace along a very pedestrian friendly route. If you'd prefer to take the underground, then Westminster Station is your stop. From here, you'll get to see Big Ben, Westminster Abbey, and the Houses of Parliament. Westminster Abbey is probably the most iconic church in London. It's over a thousand years old and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's been Britain's coronation church since 1066. It was here that King Charles III and his wife were crowned in May. If you want to visit the inside, tickets cost £27 per adult. Across the street, Big Ben is currently closed for renovations, but you can still take a picture outside. Guided tours of Parliament are £32 per adult for a 90-minute tour. And for stop three, we're checking out one of the best ways to see London, from the sky. It's only a short walk across Westminster Bridge to get from Big Ben to the London Eye. Tickets start at about £30 per adult, and this iconic Ferris wheel will give you a 360 degree view of the London skyline. The ride takes about 30 minutes, and each of the Ferris wheel's 32 capsules can hold about 25 people. Yes, it's touristy, but still a really fun and unique way to see London. And just a heads up, so that you're not completely surprised when you get there, the wheel doesn't actually stop. So you have to hop on and off while the wheel is in motion. It's going super slow, so it's easy and safe, but it's still a lot of fun to watch other people nervously getting on board and off. Stop number four is Shakespeare's famous Globe Theater. It's a really beautiful 1.2 mile walk along the Thames River, which will take you about 25 minutes or so from the London Eye. There are plenty of fun food trucks and food stands along the way in case you get hungry. And if you're lucky like us, you'll catch the sidewalk book sale too. Now you might be wondering, is this the original Globe Theater for which Shakespeare wrote his famous plays? Well, not exactly. The original theater was built in 1599 and destroyed in a fire in 1613, before getting rebuilt and eventually demolished in 1644. So this building is a reconstruction of that original theater, and it was finished in 1997. 
If you can, try to check out a production here. Tickets are only about 25 to 65 pounds per adult. You can also get standing room only tickets starting at about five pounds. Not a bad deal. So in one day, we've shown you Buckingham Palace, Westminster Abbey, Parliament, Big Ben, the London Eye, and the Globe Theater, all without needing a car. So stop number five is gonna be a very welcome surprise. It's a pub. But it's not just any pub. We're taking you to the Anchor, established in 1616. The Anchor is less than half a mile from the Globe Theater, so it was actually popular with Shakespearean actors back in the 17th century. It may be over 400 years old, but the Anchor is still the place to eat, drink, and be merry. Like and subscribe for more UK travel tips. See you next time.